everyone and welcome to the brand new episode of Dream Home Season 7 powered by Johnson Tiles co-sponsored by ACC Cements, Prayag and HPL Wise. Before moving on to the competition, let me welcome our wonderful panel of judges. We have Ms. Sudha, leading architect and interior designer. And we also have Mr. Jibu John, a leading architect. We all know that home is where the heart is. And today we present before you Vismaya from Calicut. So let's take a look there. What's up family? My name is Dinesh Karthik and welcome to a brand new episode of Dream Home Season 7. Now we're at Vismaya House in the beautiful city of Calicut. This is a 3,000 square foot house and it is somewhat contemporary, somewhat traditional. Let's see where the magic happens. Now here at the front of the house, something very interesting is the gate actually is automatic. It's fully automatic. You press a button and it opens. There's blue and gray color schemes all around with uh, obviously the greenery. It's natural. There's lots of plants running from the uh, one side all the way to the other side of the house. Now across the wall from the bottom to the top, you can see it's stone cladding. These windows over here um, are made of wood but then it has some glass design. The flooring over here is natural stone with granite border. Over here in the garage area, we have stone cladding. The roofing is terracotta. And uh, over here, we have lots of woodwork. So we're at the very front sit-out area of the house. Now over here we have some granite mixed with tiles right in front. This entire wall, believe it or not, is wood. From the door to the window, there's some glass over here. It's very, very intricate as you can see in design. Uh, we have some stone cladding over here and to match that, this entire wall is stone cladding. Now let's take a look inside. As you can see, this foyer area is very interesting. There's a lot of intricate detailing going on, especially on the woodwork. You can see uh, from the top to the bottom, there's a lot of uh, detailing going on. Now, something very interesting about this area right here is there, it is double height. It goes up to an opening, which lets in a lot of light. This entire room is definitely a mix of traditional and contemporary. Going uh, to my left over there is the family room. To the right is a bedroom kitchen dining area over here and a bedroom puja room the staircase leads up to two other bedrooms Now this is the living room. As you can see, there is lots of wood. Wood seems to be a general theme in, uh, as, as far as I've seen so far. Uh, the TV viewing area over here is 
completely made of wood. Over here we have some uh, waterwork uh, structure over here with some pebbles, some greenery. The showpiece to my right is beautifully crafted. It's glass and wood. The flooring is complete light tiles, which matches the ceiling and the ambiance of the room, which is basically light. Now welcome into the master bedroom. As you can see, it's kept fairly simple, not too much going on over here. Lots of wood, the entire cabinets over here is wood. Now to the left side of me, as you can see, is a wardrobe changing area. It's completely made of wood. It's very interest, intricate in design. To the left of that is the bathroom. It's got tiles all around from the bottom to the floor. Even the flooring is tiles. Wood frame bed over here. It's a king size bed. Everything else white besides this pink accent wall. And welcome into the dining area. We have lots and lots of wood. As you can see, there's wooden cabinets over here. We have some granite over here. Um, to my left, the washing, washing area is also granite. The table is completely made of wood and has glass over it. The chairs are obviously wood. And behind you, there is this uh, separation, which is completely wood and glass. It's very, very detailed in its making, and it's very interesting to see. Now welcome into the kitchen area. As you can see, it's fairly simple. Lots of uh, woodwork again. Wooden cabinets over here, wooden cabinets behind me up here. There is some tile work below. The color scheme is very interesting. It's uh, a gray tiles all around. And then we have some brown and some black and some beige below me. Obviously coming into this room with all the bright colors, you can tell that this is the kids room. So this is a very interesting uh, blue accent wall. It's got butterflies, obviously for the children. It's a medium sized bed. We've got woodwork all around. As you can see, windows over here. To my left, there's two over there and uh, everything's wood. This was the magic of Vismaya House in Korikord. See you guys next time on the next episode of Dream Home Season 7.
ഈ വീടിൻ്റെ ഉടമസ്ഥൻ മിസ്റ്റർ ഷാജി അദ്ദേഹം എൻ്റെ അടുത്ത് ഒരു വീട് ഡിസൈൻ ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി വന്നപ്പോൾ അവരുടെ സജഷനായിട്ട് ആദ്യമായിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് നാല് ബെഡ്റൂം അടങ്ങിയ ഒരു വീടായിരുന്നു ആ വീടിൻ്റെ മേൽക്കൂര സ്ലോപ്പ്ഡ് റൂഫ് ആണ് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് താല്പര്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നത് അദ്ദേഹത്തിനും അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ കുടുംബത്തിനും അത് തന്നെയായിരുന്നു താല്പര്യം ഏകദേശം മൂവായിരത്തി നാനൂറ് സ്ക്വയർ ഫീറ്റിലാണ് ഈ വീട് പണിതിട്ടുള്ളത് ഈ വീടിൻ്റെ താഴത്തെ നിലയിൽ രണ്ട് ബെഡ്റൂമും അതിനോട് ചേർന്ന് രണ്ട് അറ്റാച്ച് ടോയ്ലറ്റും പിന്നെ ഡൈനിങ് റൂമും കിച്ചൺ യൂട്ടിലിറ്റി റൂം ലിവിംഗ് റൂം ഡ്രോയിങ് റൂം സിറ്റ് ഔട്ട് പോർച്ച് എന്നിവയാണ് താഴത്തെ നിലയിൽ സജ്ജീകരിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് അതുകൂടാതെ ഇൻറ്റീരിയർ വർക്കുകളും പുറത്ത് കുറച്ച് ലാൻഡ്സ്കേപ്പിങ്ങും അതേപോലെ തന്നെ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി സിസ്റ്റം ഗേറ്റ് ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക് ഓപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് സിസ്റ്റം എന്നിവ കൂടെ ഇതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്താൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടുണ്ട് So straight away let's see what the judges have to say about the exteriors. A lot of elements coming into the exterior, a lot of different colors are used. There's a patch of yellow, uh, then on the other side there is gray lines, the compound wall is gray, the house is white. So there is actually a lack of, uh, what do you call, what is exactly meant for what, uh, that confusion mm-hmm. is there for me on what the designer wanted. overall uh, slightly confusing uh, so i would give it 5.5 out of 10 5.5 out of 10 for the exteriors by mr jibo and what about you when you have a site so uh, beautiful it is a lot of uh, space also as you can see so uh, they've gone to great lengths to design the windows which is of a wooden color the walls are white and the roof forms also don't tend to uh, match that is you have a um, four sided sloping roof for the car porch well a two sided one in front with a dormer window on the top so all in all it's a confusion of too many forms too many elements altogether it's a little bit of a confusion as to what is what could be the unifying theme or the um, the entire thing put together should look like a whole it doesn't feel like a whole bunch of parts so i'll go for a 5.5 5.5 out of 10 interiors interiors again they've started with the um, veranda uh, which i feel is black granite steps and um, uh, the other other rooms are uh, white vitrified and a mix of granite also is there I feel there is actually um, uh, interior wise if you look at the drawing room there is a black leather sofa which faces a TV wall uh, I feel the space is slightly too small for a big couch sofa like that uh, the staircase is winding and then there is actually a water body when you enter right at the, like a court there is a water body and a fountain so uh, and that wood uh, pillars are wood paneled Uh, overall the blue tiles the wooden paneling the color combinations uh, there is something uh, not right about that and actually the um, staircase handrail has gone with stainless steel wherein they've gone for wood on the top uh, top floors the ha- handrails are all wood so there is actually a mismatch that is happening somewhere i'll be again giving 5.5 out of 10 for this interiors so 5.5 again for the interiors by Mr. Jibu Ms. Sudha I totally agree with Jibu there's a lot of conflict and a lot of confusion within the house itself um the the black sofas the brown floors the there, there are too many elements there are too many uh, in fact the the windows are too loud uh, the the uh, pond the blue water the yellow uh, th- there's a patch of yellow on either side of the central piece there So there's a lot of color there's too many things going on at the same time so altogether i'm going to give it a 5 5 out of 10 what about the decor and lighting decor and lighting also it's the same story as the interiors again sofas dining table everything comes as part of the decor only so these things all uh, tends to have that 
a lack of uh, that space where it is I don't think that is where it should be because that lackness is there in the total design in the same way uh, there are too many type of lights used decor and lighting also I would be giving 5.6 out of 10 5.6 out of 10 Masuda try to do something which is uh, with stone cladded walls you're looking at a certain time timeline of these things so with those kind of details you expect to see LED lights not glass chandeliers that are hanging from the top and you have so many different types I, I think I saw about two or three different types of chandeliers itself there so so it doesn't so suppose you were doing a classical style only wood then the chandeliers might have suit, mm. suited it but here we are looking at slightly contemporary leather sofas so many things that are contemporary are coming into the picture but those don't gel very well with the kind of uh, light fixtures or the kind of lighting it's not coordinated I'm going for a 5 5 out of 10 for decor and lighting Landscaping Landscaping also there's only a very small area which I saw landscaped that is actually uh, part of the driveway, so I would go with 5. Our points are between 5 and 5.5 .5 and 6 and what about you Ms. So true because see when you when you try to landscape something, a potted plant is not considered a landscape. They do have a lot of potted plants and if at all you do have a potted plant, we are looking at the plant not the pot. What we saw here was a lot of pots. Mm. So uh, it, it doesn't probably, it hasn't grown to the full extent, but it doesn't give any kind of addition, value addition in terms of greenery to the front yard. I, I saw quite a few of them stacked at one end of it. There are a few of them who are looking fairly okay uh, at the two ends of the pillars at the entrance. Landscaping is minimal and not really thought about, so mm. it's five. Again, five out of ten. Kitchen? Kitchen is uh, more or less decent when compared to other rooms. So I think I'll give kitchen 5.6. 5.6 out of 10 Masuda? Yeah, true. With all the woodwork that goes into it, it's sort of got a, uh, the, the old world elegance uh, sort of charm is there for the kitchen. It's well planned out at least, so it's working well. Let's go for a 5.5. 5.5 .5. 5 .5 out of 10. <laughs> Let's see what mark it gets for the bathroom. Bathrooms also they have used that uh, we call that um, tiles, ceramic or vitrified tiles which is a uh, lot of pattern tiles. It would have been better if it was something more plain and simple but again the, the bathroom is slightly clustered with a pattern tile. So I feel uh, for bathrooms also I would give 5.6. 5.6 in the Siddha? 5.5 again the uh, colors there's there's a gray there's a brown there's a white all these are thrown into a sort of Italian marble kind of a pattern uh, but it's a bit too loud compared to the small space that it is in so it's only a 5.5 5.5 5 out of 10 and what about flooring Flooring also there is the views granite, uh, the views the steps also is granite. Actually overall they views granite mostly I feel in that house and the color coding uh, again doesn't match much. So I would say uh, for flooring I would give 5.6 again. 5.6 again and Masuda? They've used a matte finish tile which is sort of creamish but then the tiles on the walls become greyish. So then there's, there, there's no match between the two. So I'm looking for a 5.5 .5 again. 5.5 .5 out of 10. What about the wardrobe? The wardrobe I feel uh, it, it matches with the cords. We use the same sort of wood but then again um, I would say that um, I will give 5.5 .5 to it. Again 5.5 .5, Masuda? I'm going for a uh, 5 for the wardrobes. 5 out of 10. And paintings? 
external painting I have mentioned earlier, uh, they have used lot of colors which is not justifying the building. Uh, there is a yellow, gray and white mix. Uh, then interior, when you come to interior also, uh, the colors that has been used in bedrooms were that uh, white motif with a blue wall, um, then a, br a bright yellow in lot of walls. You know, and then again the use of granite and wood, these colors are supposed to mix and match well. So that is actually uh, absent I believe and I will give for painting 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10, what about you Ms. Siddha? There are so many textures in it, uh, there is wooden paneling for the pillars on the ground floor and there is stone cladding for the pillars on the top floor with a wooden beading at the edge that sort of sticks out. So there is too many designs things just aren't in a flow. It's as if three, four designers have worked on it on an individual uh, basis. Mm -hmm. So uh, the colors also don't match. So altogether, all in all, the painting, the textures, the combination of this, I'm going to give it a 4.5. 4.5 out of 10. What about the value for money? Value for money will be 5.5. 5.5 and what about you? Yeah, for the kind of money that has gone into each of those windows itself, I felt that there's so much work. There's, there's a lot of um, grill work, there is a lot of uh, glass work in it, the, the, there's carving work done on the windows, extremely detailed. For the kind of expense that went into it, it's not being showcased well enough with too many other things to distract from it. So I'm going to give it a 5. 5 out of 10. So analyzing the total marks, Ms. Sudha has given a total of 51.5 and Mr. Jibber 54.4 which makes a total of 105.9. So that is the total marks and with this we are winding up today's episode. Until the next time we meet, this is Archana Ravi and the entire team of Dream Home Season 7 powered by Johnson Tiles, co-presented by ACC Simmons, Prayag and HPLY signing up. Ta-ta.